and I'm Maury Givens with Extra. And we are here in Brooklyn, New York at the Barclays Center. Jason Collins came out today making news as the first openly gay player to be active in any professional sport in America. We came here to the Barclays Center where the Chicago Bulls are playing the Brooklyn Nets to see what NBA fans had to say. I think it's great. I think he's I think it was about time somebody did it. I think uh, I think it's great for sports and hopefully more people do it. If you're straight or gay, it doesn't matter. Just play the game, what you love to do, what you get paid for, that's it. Um, I certainly had no idea it would be him. Uh, there's been lots of chatter in the sports world that this was going to happen over the last couple of months. So I wouldn't say I was surprised, no. I think it's a big deal for um, the NBA and athletic leagues in general. Um, but I think it's great, just the same way like Frank Ocean came out and anyone else. Um, I don't think it's a big deal in 2013 at this point. Now, some people have said that he is a free agent. He is looking for a new team. This could be maybe some a publicity move. What do you think? Oh, I didn't even know about that. Um, it possibly could be, but I mean, that might also hinder him being able to go on to another team because maybe they don't want to deal with that. I feel like this is such a such a huge thing to make a publicity stunt out of. I, I wouldn't imagine that someone would do that, but what do I know? Potential negative feedback is the guy's going to get criticized for, I mean, they probably associate him being gay with his game and, you know, a lot of players giving him negative feedback, you know, I don't like this guy, I don't want this guy on the court if he's gay. But, uh, you know, I'm all, I'm fine with it. They should be too, shouldn't, they shouldn't be worried about it. I'm sure that there's going to be, you know, a lot of armchair quarterbacks who think that being in the locker room with such a guy is going to be a negative for, the, for team morale and whatnot, but I find that hard to believe personally. I still don't think that, that this is going to be a trend. I think we're still living in a especially for sports, a homophobic society. And so I don't think it's going to be a trend, especially in um, very masculine sports like football. I, I don't think so. From Brooklyn, I'm Ori. And I'm Jillian. We're for Extra. Have a good night.